Hey there. You're the Divine Dragon, right? You got a second to talk? Who might you be? Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Pine, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. And, well, he'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please come along to the Somnia. Really? That's great. You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> okay. I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? Hmm. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. <laughs> I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood. Well then? Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. Oh, that's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training, even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive! <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? <laughs> well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> Me too! But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Hmm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. So... Thank you. Now, about the boutique.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Welcome, welcome. Here's how the smithy works. I'll be here. That's right. It's like this. Make it nice and shiny. Hmm. You take excellent care of the ring. This ring is filthy, don't you think? You are a strange one. I appreciate your upkeep of the ring. Your cleaning skills are impressive. I am Saline, 
Princess of Firene. Etie here, busting in once again. I really thought I had you. What a joy this has been. Today's workout begins now. Shall we have a cup of tea afterward? No. Ah! Huh. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Uh. 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 Thanks for showing me what I still need to work on. Steward of the Divine Dragon. I'm a lot stronger than I look. It's okay. I'll win the next one. Yeah, the lingering taste of victory. Divine Dragon Fan Club co-founder! I'm Celica. It's my pleasure. here and chat with me. Uh, me? Talk to Lady Celica? Alone? Oh wow, I think I might faint.
I visited the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. <laughs> We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean, that we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. <laughs> huh? What's up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Sorry, I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. Is there something wrong with how I look? Oh, no. Nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. Uh, <laughs> well, you know how you're always so confident? Huh? I was thinking about how plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look at. Which is why you were staring. Ah. <sighs> Forgive me, Etienne. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but a quick jog will help get my mind off it. See you around, Divine One. Commander, I owe you an apology. An apology? What for? I messed up big time. If I'd been quicker about getting to Lethos, I could have saved Queen Lumera. I know the Queen meant a lot to you. I'm really sorry she's gone. You are mistaken, Prince Alfred. If there is blame to cast, I bear as much as you. More, in fact, as I was her retainer. So you see, you have nothing to apologize for. But I... Without your presence, Prince Alfred, our losses may have been even greater. As I see it, I have ample reason to thank you and none to resent you. Well, if you say so, happy to help. Hey, uh, is it okay with you if I visit again? Of course. Let us share stories of happier times with Queen Lumera. Happier times, huh? Indeed. I think Queen Lumera would prefer that to brooding over our failures. Don't you? It's about that time, President Clan. I'm all set, President Fram. In that case, I call this meeting of the Divine Dragon Fan Club to order! Woo! Yeah! Ahem. Our first and only agenda item is how to broaden the fan club's reach. President Clan, you have the floor. I think we should do something splashy to drum up people's excitement. Seconded. The only question is... what? I have an idea. How about we spread our message by making pamphlets? I'm listening. See, everyone's heard of the Divine Dragon, but only a few know the person behind the title. You and me? We could tell the world what the Divine One is really like. Yeah. Picking up what you're putting down. Oh, oh, how about this? 
we slap the Divine One's beautiful face on the cover and title it The Divine Dragon, Up Close and Personal. Boom! Inside, we have an interview with every juicy detail folks could possibly want to know. Favorite foods, favorite weapons, hair care routine, shoe size, the raw, uncut story. <gasps> you don't like it. I love it! That's way less stiff and formal than what I had in mind. Just the sort of brilliant idea I'd expect from you, Madam President. I couldn't have gotten there without your suggestion, Mr. President. All right, let's get working on this pamphlet so we can hand it out all over town. Uh, wait. All over town? Nice. <sighs> I've said it before, but I really admire those muscles, Boucheron. <sighs> oh, uh, I appreciate the compliment. Your triceps are especially well developed. Mind if I feel them? Uh, anything you want, Prince Alfred. Hmm, yes. Incredible stuff. And practically a Fearnese national treasure. The forearm is perfectly sculpted, too. Wish mine was like that. Are you finished now? Oh, guess I got carried away there. You gotta admit, though, these muscles of yours are something else. I can't help but wonder what the secret is to getting beauties like these. Nothing special, really. Oh, that's what you always say. There must be some trick to it. Unless you're telling me they're all natural. How is that possible? Hmm. 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 <clears throat> that's a bit... Uh... A bit what? Is there something special about this one? No, Prince Alfred. It's just a bit ticklish. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Good morning, Alfred. Morning, Celine. Training hard again, I see. Though normally I don't find you using a shovel. That's a deep hole you've dug, too. Won't this be hazardous for the others? <laughs> oh, Celine, this isn't training. And if anything, I need to dig deeper. What in the world is the purpose of this? I overheard the kitchen staff this morning complaining that there wasn't enough water. So I'm digging a well for them. Pardon? Alfred, if the water supply is low, there's a river nearby we can fetch more from. What possessed you to decide that the solution to the problem was to dig a well? Hey, you're right! That's using your noggin! I'd better find a jug and leg it to the river. Thanks for the tip, Saline. <sighs> you haven't changed one bit, it seems. Better that you should dress in pelts and furs to warn people of your barbaric mindset. It's been a while since we had time for a cup of tea together, Princess Saline. There's no need to stand on ceremony, Etienne. We've been friends too long for that. As you wish, Saline. How's your tea? Most delicious, thank you. This is a lovely pot you've brewed for us. The pungent aroma and flavor tell me it's a single origin tea from the northern fields, yes? You can tell where it's from with one sip? You really know your leaves. Go on, Etienne. Try some. The aroma is really quite unlike anything else. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Well? Well, it tastes like tea to me. You could tell me it's from any region and I'd believe you. <laughs> I thought as much. You always were a bit blind to the subtleties of tea. It's not that I can't taste it. It's that no one's on your level when it comes to this stuff. Hmm? Is something wrong, Etie? What do you mean? I noticed your hand trembling. There it is again. Oh, uh, I don't think so. You must have imagined it. Really? Well, if you're sure... Is the tea to your liking, Princess Ailey? Very much so. I particularly enjoy the aroma. 
I smell a hint of citrus, along with floral notes, yes? More than one variety, if I'm not mistaken. It brings to mind the blossoms often found during the warmer months. Taken all together, the scent is most pleasing. I endeavor to satisfy. This black tea is a mix of leaves from Southern Firenze with dried fruit rinds and flowers. It's heavenly, as the blends you prepare always are. The chance to sip the tea you brew is one of the small joys that gets me through each day. <laughs> You're too kind, Princess Saline. Somewhat related, do you remember the special leaves I mentioned recently? Yes, of course. You said that they would produce a unique and distinctive flavor, if I recall. You recall correctly. I have a lead on how one might acquire such leaves. I take it that would interest you. Truly? You're right. I'd love to sample it for myself. Excellent. The wait will be worth it. Oh, hello, Princess Celine. You look radiant as ever. Thank you, Chloe. We have some free time today. How do you intend to spend it? That's a good question. Why don't we take a ride on your Pegasus to a nearby tea farm? I'd be thrilled. Mind you, we don't have that much free time. I doubt it would be like it was before. If only I could return to those days of whiling away the hours with you. Princess Celine? Oh well, let's do something else. When this war ends, I'll take you wherever you like, as often as you like. We'll visit all the tea farms in the world. And we can pass the time taking in beautiful landscapes while sipping delicious tea. Now, doesn't that sound lovely? It does indeed. Wonderful idea, Chloe. I shall hold you to it when the time comes. And I will be happy to oblige. Dear. Wow! Indeed. Thank you. Adorable when you sleep, Divine One. Uh, uh, huh? Oh, good morning. Did I wake you? Were you watching me sleep again? Yes. Sorry about that. Oh, you should just leave me be if I nod off while I'm sitting outside. It's unnerving to wake up on your own and find someone staring at you. Oh, I never meant to do that, Divine One. But you slept for a thousand years. Just like a character from a fairy tale. Your sleeping form is so heavenly that I can't help staring at it. I get that. But I still must have been a ridiculous sight, sleeping here of all places. Oh no, not at all. But I have a compromise in mind. Hear me out. If I'm always there when you wake up, maybe you'll get used to it and it won't be so startling. All we'd have to do is set up an extra bed for me in your chamber. Nope, not doing that. Oh dear, shot down. The weather's great today, so don't sleep through it. Let's go, get that blood flowing. Morning. Come on, open up those eyes.
Well then. Well, hey there. Take care. Welcome. I thank you. Thank you. Do come again. Welcome. Do come again. That's true. What'll it be? How hard do you want to go? What'll it be? How hard do you want to go? You've got this! Looking good! Perfect! You've got this! Perfect! Looking good! Perfect! Looking good! You've got this! Looking good! You've got this! Looking good! Perfect! You've got this! Perfect! You've got this! Great job! I'm so proud! Let's do this again sometime. What? 